attorneys, we do have an understanding that there will be no further outbursts in this court. I will hold you both in contempt of court if there is. Prosecutor, your next witness. Your Honor, the prosecution calls for its last witness, Candace Adams. Will you approach the witness stand, young lady? Step up. Did you raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth will help you, God? I do. State your name for the record. Candace Adams. You may be seated. Ms. Adams, state your occupation for the court. I'm an administrative secretary for my church. You enjoy your job? Yes, I do. That's great. And my sister, do you know the defendant over here, Ms. Rivera? Yes, I do. How well do you know him? Pretty well. What is, or should I say, what was your relationship with Mr. Rivera? I used to sell drugs for him. Drugs? Yes, sir. Did you say you dealt drugs or for Mr. Rivera? Yes. yes. So Mr. Rivera is a drug dealer then, right? Your Honor, I object. It has not yet been proven that my client is in any way involved with drugs, and I ask that you strike that from the record. Sustain. Sorry, Your Honor. You did say you dealt drugs for Ms. Rivera. That's right. How did you get involved into drug dealing with this man? I was introduced to him through an acquaintance, and I was basically threatened by knife point to sell drugs for him. You were threatened? Yes. Were you coerced or for forced? Yes. To do you know, you're very beautiful. Muy bonita. <laughs> It would be a shame to have anything happen to that pretty face. <laughs> you know, I used to be a plastic surgeon, but my hand is a little unsteady now. <laughs> I had a few accidents on the operating table. <laughs> and that eye over there, his hand is very unsteady with that gun. <laughs> he sometimes shoots things he's not supposed to even be shooting. <laughs> But you know what I want you to do now? I want you to go out there and sell all the super blow that you can. I don't care if you have to stay up 24 hours a day. You bring me that money. Is that understood? Can I, can I go now, please? Yes. One more thing, though. When daddy calls, you come running. Is that understood? <laughs> so Mr. Rivera forced you to sell drugs, and he threatened your life. Yes, he did. To sell drugs for this man. Mm-hmm. Your Honor. Do you recognize this, Ms. Adams? Yes, I do. What is it? This is a personal ledger that I kept for Mr. Rivera. These are receipts for payments made for drugs. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to enter into evidence as Exhibit F, a ledger kept by Ms. Adams for Ms. Rivera payments made for his drug cartel. What is this? What is this? I don't believe this. This is unbelievable. Just do what you gotta do, okay? You just do what you gotta do, all right? Ms. Adams, did you do anything else with or for Ms. Rivera? We were a bit intimate. A bit intimate. What do you mean by a bit intimate? He demanded that I engage in a physical relationship with him against my will. So he demanded you to go to bed with him? Yes. How old were you then? I was just a teenager. Just a teenager. Boy. Have you ever in your close relationship with Mr. Rivera witnessed him murder or order someone to murder someone else? I've not actually seen him murder anyone, but I do know that anybody that double-crossed him or resisted him were put to death. Objection, Your Honor. That is pure speculation, and I ask that you strike that from the record. Sustain. 
Extract that from the record. Okay. Did Mr. Rivera ever mention Marquita's name to you? And what, for what reason? Yes, he did. Um, he, I don't know why, but I know that he told me to watch her, to um, keep up with her, to make sure I followed her everywhere she went. So Ms. Rivera actually had you watch Ms. Marquita Perry. That's right. But he did not give you any reason? No. Ms. Adams, have you ever done, have you ever used drugs? Yes, I did. Do you use drugs now? No, I don't. So are you considered to be rehabilitated? That's right. For about a year now. What are you doing with, with your life now? Well, I'm uh, trying to get my life back together. I'm a born-again Christian now. I've accepted Jesus Christ. And I'm working, uh, and I'm also considering going back to school to make something of myself. That's wonderful. No further questions, Your Honor. Defense, your witness. Miss Adams. You said that uh, you were a girlfriend or a lover of my Next, client? Your Honor. Sustain. Your Honor, I'll rephrase the question. You said that, uh, quote, we were intimate, unquote. Is, is that not true? I said that, yes. How intimate? It was forced. Oh, so he forced himself upon you. That's right. He forced himself upon you in the beginning. Yes. Did it end up that way? I don't see what this has to do with Just anything. Just answer my question. Yes, yes or sir. no? Uh, Ms. Adams. Did it wind up that Did it end that way? I don't quite understand what you're getting at. Did you enjoy it? No, I did not. In the end? No. So you had no feelings for my client? No. Okay. All right. You said you sold drugs. You said my client forced you to sell drugs. Yes. Okay. Were you selling drugs prior to you uh, meeting my client? Not to the capacity that I was. Just when answer I was my question, him. yes or no, Your Honor, Adams. it was just little stuff like marijuana. Yes. Yes. Yes, so you were a drug dealer before you met my client. So he didn't force you to sell drugs. Yes, he, he did. He just forced you to sell drugs for him. That's what I said. He forced so me to sell drugs So you were a drug dealer before you met my client. Isn't he that forced correct? me to sell Is drugs for him. Is that correct? Yes or no? Your Honor, he forced me to sell drugs yes for him. Yes or no? Yes Judge, or please. No Ms. Adams. Yes. yes or no? You said you were a uh, teenager. You were just a teenager yes. when you were involved with my client. How old were you? 18. 18. Like you were 18. So that means you were of legal age. Isn't that correct? Mm. Next I was question. Just a Next teenager. question. No, you, you were a drug user. Okay, were you ever addicted to drugs? I don't understand the line of question. Oh, why not? It's a pl simple question. Please, were you addicted to drugs? Maybe at the beginning. At the beginning. Were you, e yes or no, were you ever addicted yes, to drugs? Yes, yes. So you were a drug addict, correct? Yes. Okay. So you were a drug dealer. You were a drug user. You was a drug addict. Addict, let me ask you one more question. Was your mama ever a drug? Your Honor, user? I don't... Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is badgering the witness. Sustain, you know what you're doing, Mr. Langston. Your Honor, I move again that we dismiss this case on the following reasons, Your Honor. For one, Your Honor, there isn't an ounce of credibility characterized with any of the witnesses that were produced by the prosecution. Secondly, Your Honor, this newfound evidence that's produced here, Your Honor, is... It's against the penal code, Your Honor, and therefore it's inadmissible. And thirdly, this final witness of the prosecution, Your Honor, wasn't even there at the scene of the crime on the night in question. Your Honor, 
This is a waste of taxpayers' money. Your Honor, This please. is a waste this of is judicial unfair. manpower. He has nothing. Your Honor, no further questions. Why does he have to even bring my mother into this? I have no say so of my mother's past. Your Honor, and Your Honor, I object. I want to hear this, attorney. Sit down. Go ahead. Your, on. Your Honor, Antonio Rivera, he is capable of murder. He forced himself upon me. The records are in front of you. Read it yourself. Please put him behind bars so nobody else gets hurt. Thank you, Ms. Adams. You may step down. Attorneys, I'd like to hear your final arguments. Your Honor, they have proven that it's without Antonio Rivera's guilty of all charges and negligence. Therefore, Your Honor, seek that you charge him guilty of every charge. Hey, how you doing, Sam? I'm all right. How are you? I'm straight. Hey, who set you from? I'm from up north. Where you from? I'm from the south side. You know the south side got it going on, right? If you say so. Y'all ain't showing me too much yet. Hey, I got the 40 in my hand right now. Well, that's what I came for. Bring it on, baby. As long as you know what bed you're waking up in tomorrow morning. Look, I can handle anything come my way. I'll uh, straight up. Try me and see. There you go. <sighs> kind of strong for you, ain't it? Hey, I can handle it. You sure about it? <laughs> yeah, I know I can handle anything. <laughs> straight up. What's my name? <laughs> what is your name? Mickey. What's yours? I'm Brooks. What's this drink? Bill, what does it look like? What's that, 5%? It's enough, I can handle it. Baby, you need some. I can't handle all that. That's too much for me. Greg, how are you going to get yourself together? Uh, baby, all I got to do is give me some cold water. And I'll be straight. You're talking you know nonsense now. Nah. Hey, Mickey, what you You got a pen, piece of paper? No, nah, I don't remember it, baby. When I drank, I remember that. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Six, nine, two, seven. Seven, nine, two, seven. No, no, no. No, but you all off. No, okay. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Six, nine. Six, nine. Two, seven. Twenty-seven. All right, You get that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll be waiting. Uh -huh. Uh, 8 o'clock, do be in the crib with Yeah, I guess I'll be in the crib by then. Bring you about 40, all right? You need to crack that. This is enough. I'm uh, telling you that. You're something strong, you know what I'm saying? No. You're going to be with me, you got to drink that hard stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Well, I guess I got to leave you, right? No, nah, you ain't got to leave me now. Mm-hmm. The hard stuff is the way to go, baby. No, I keep telling you, no. No, nah, you need some alcohol, you know what I'm saying? With your juices flowing, you know? What you trying to do, Mr. Jamaican wanna be a song? No, what you doing? What you doing? What's you? You, baby, you know you looking real good. I see how you got your hair all laid. Man, beautiful eyes, you know, man. Nigga like me just ready to get hooked up, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what you be about? How we gonna go about doing that, you know what I'm saying? 
You wanna hook up tonight? Oh, baby, you know it. You know, I got the ride waiting outside anyway. It's ready to be in action, you know what I'm saying? What you drive? Oh, baby, I got a heavy Chevy sitting outside, you know? For real? For real. You sure you can drive? Oh, baby, I know I can drive, you know what I'm saying? I drive better when I'm drinking anyway. You know, if you create a little problem, I'll roll the window down a little bit. Get a little coffee or something, I'll be straight all the way through. So, uh, you know, when you from, you ready to go now? Yeah, you let's know, go. Whatever, club, you know what I'm saying? Because um, we can stop by the motel or anything else, you know what I'm saying? Just as long as you with me, baby. This up right now. Man, what's up with the women, man? Hey, man, you know I just done this for Mook, Make your hands out of my face, up. man. What's up with the women, man? I heard you, you know for Mook, dog. I heard he had a You live for Mookie? Yeah, hey, who you think you are? Huh? Man, 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 what's off me, man? What's wrong with you? Man, I can explain what you man. I man, you, you know what? Man. I'm going to tell you, you going to explain one thing right now. If I ever tell you an order, man, they go in one end, come out the other, I'm going to cut the other ear off so you can hear me. All right? All right, man. You carry that smoking. stuff on, man. You should have smoked it, G. And you make your chunk junk butt up. This is a flop house. Putting your hands on me. <laughs> oh, man, on this stuff, man. Hold up with that, man. Come on in, Mook, man. Be going. Come on, man. <laughs> Slow it up, man. I'm coming. Hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah, y'all see him. How you doing? All that other stuff. Y'all can see him from back here. Y'all ain't supposed to be in no way. Step on back. Hey, take five. I don't care what y'all want to see. What's up with this, man? Man, I will talk to you about it a little bit, man. Hey, you want a seat, man? Here you go, Mook. Man. This might get that man a chair. Hey, Mook, Mook, man, what's up, man? You walked it, you did it again. What's up with that? Yeah, what's up? You did it again. What's up? Man, I ain't do nothing. Matter of fact, uh, I ain't even do nothing last time. What you mean, man? What's up with that? <laughs> you wouldn't understand what's if up, I told you about it. I just stop talking crazy. crazy. Dog, what are you talking about? I ain't talking crazy or nothing, but what I'm trying to say, like I said before, you ain't gonna understand if I get to it, you know? So I just get to it later at another time. Well, it's just good to see you walking, dog. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mook, you wanna hit this right here? Man, go somewhere with that. I don't got no time oh, for that. Come on, man. You can swing this. Man, I still got no time for that, man. Man, what's wrong with you, man? Huh? What's wrong with you? Man, nothing, man. Man, you better stay out of people's face, man. I'm telling you. That's second violation. Man, what's up with this, man? Three strikes you out. Man, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I, I can't even, I I can't even explain it right now. You got bars all over the place, man. Then you got niggas come out of pocket, man. I'm depending on you to take care of this thing, man. What's up? Man, I'm going to take care of it, man. I ain't got no problems with this, man. Everything's gonna be taken care of. Everything comes out in the wash, you know what I'm saying? But at any rate, man, I mean, what's wrong with you, man? You, I mean, this is supposed to be it, man. Everybody's happy to see you, man, carrying on, man. You acting like you ain't the life of the party, man. This is for you. Man, I'm cool, everybody. Cool, I'm here. But you know what I'm saying? I told you, man, there was a change, all right? I don't want to deal with this stuff. Man, I don't want to repeat myself. I'll explain it to you, all right? Cool, man. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey y'all, who, who did y'all come here for? Mookie. So y'all came y'all came here to support the man, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man walking, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, give me the drink, man. Oh yeah. Now Mook, man. Now why why you front on them, man? Now you know, man, you should be drinking with them, brother. Any other time, any other case, brother, you'll be fine up the chronic, you'll be drinking. Mm -hmm. And now man, you now you know you fronting now like you know like you ain't never did it before. You want me to take a swig first, man? Huh? Tap the bottle, twist the cap. There you go, man. There it is. Now, what's up, man? You finished preaching. <laughs> preaching? What's up, man? That nigga, let me tell you something. First of all, you come to my last set, and when my legs went out, you gonna try to front me off, boy. But see, I ain't nobody to be played with, and you shouldn't be up in here. And let me tell you something. You don't come up in here 
talking crazy at one of my plays when you're double out here and you need to get yourself together because words out on the street, brother, that you ain't straight. And I know you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, what now? Ooh, Ooh shut up. Wait, wait, man, y'all chill out. Be quiet, be quiet. Ooh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Look here, man. Look, like I said, dude, you know, we just happy to see you walk. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't happy, ain't nobody else happy I am, all right? Ain't nobody preaching to you, man, but you know doggone well, nigga, that you'll be drinking a 40 and eat before anybody else. Look, I ain't drinking nothing right now. That thing to change, but I want to keep repeating myself, all right? Look, man, like I said, man, we here to celebrate you, okay? It ain't every day a man get up out of wheelchair and then start walking, all right? So Twice. It's on you, man. So I don't know what, you know. I'm, I'm going to respect you, though, okay? Look, man, I don't care about the respect. I don't care about nothing else. Just don't come up in here front me off, you know what I'm saying, man? I said I want that stuff, all right? You the Keep man. that stuff out my face. You the man, man. You the man. Now I got something to say. Get these bras out of here, man. See you. Y'all heard it. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Man, before y'all go, can a nigga have a number or something? Y'all ain't got to go home. Y'all just got to get out of here. I'll be out there in a minute. Hold up. Don't go nowhere. Yeah, you too. You, you look good, man. I mean, okay. just make dough, all right? <laughs> Baby, what's up? I thought we had plans tonight. Baby, your plans just went out the door, all right? I ain't worried about them. I'm worried about kicking it with you. <laughs> you don't have to worry about kicking it with me because you're going to get kicked out of that dough soon. Why are you tripping on me like that? I thought, I thought we were supposed to be kicking it tonight. Girl, get your big, crusty Cocoa Puff. Having a rock hike, metal head <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking to my man, not you. What? Baby, what? Your man ain't up in here. Now, this is the last time I'm telling you, get out. Oh, babe, what's up with that? I told you, get out of here! Yeah. Problem, man, I got something to say. All right, so everybody pay attention. I don't care what y'all do. Understand what I'm saying? Y'all drink whatever y'all want to do and all that type of stuff. But I don't want that stuff in my face unless I ask for it. You understand me, man? You hear me? Yeah, I, I hear you, man. I don't want that crap in my face, man. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How are we going to make our money then? Man, I said I don't want it in my face. I'll take care of the money and all that stuff. Just don't put that stuff in my face. That's all I got to say about that, all right? Yeah, all right, man. And you, you don't come up in here in my place front me off. If I was like I used to, man, I'll sit back and smoke your butt, man. You need to go somewhere back out there with Antonio or something and sell your little drugs and all that stuff, but don't come in here trying to mess other people up. Look, man, ain't nobody trying to mess nobody up, all right, man? Like I said, I'm just trying to celebrate with the drink, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with a little alcohol, man. What's up? I mean, man, you, you act like ever since you went in that church, man, you know a little change came over you or something, man. Did that preacher really do something to you, bro? Look, man, something did happen up in that church, all right? Oh, yeah? And it ain't for you to know, okay? Matter of fact, you just need to go and get yourself together. Because for what you doing, brother, <laughs> you're going to burn up. Oh, well. <clears throat> well, okay, man. Look, look. Man, I'm getting up out of here, all right? Y'all do something with this brother, because this brother's way out of it, man. Put him on violation or whatever. I'm gone. Joker, man, I'm gone. Come right. on, man. Yo, man, I'll take care of everything, man. All right? All right. All right, man. Get this. Why don't y'all get this place cleaned up, all right? Yeah. Up. Come on, uh, Pooch, man. Let's go on here. Yeah. All right. Peace, Snoop, I'm going to talk to you later on, all right? Don't go nowhere. All right, dude, let me get that drink, man. Alright, man. Get y'all right, 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 What's up with that? What's up with all that? Hey, Snoop. Hey, Snoop. Let me get hit off this, man. Go ahead, take it. Come in. Judge Cook. How are you? John, how you doing? Glad to see you. Likewise. How you been? Real good, thank you. How about yourself? Oh, I've been doing very well. Good. How's your family? My family's fine. My boys are in school. They're doing good. Good, good, mm -hmm. good. I had an opportunity to um, sit in on your case today. Oh. And I observed, and just want to let you know, just stop by and let you know that you do a great job in there. Oh, thank I'm real you. proud of you. I take that as a compliment coming from you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You really been helpful. Well. And meant to me in a lot of ways. And I appreciate that. Well, I what a friend's for, that. John. What a friend's for. You're right. So how do you plan on judging the case? 
I believe he's guilty of killing the Perry's baby. He has something to do with it. But I don't have enough evidence to convict him of it. But on the narcotic charges, I can make those charges stick, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, John, we have to go by facts. We can't go by what we believe. I want to see you move up. And I hate for you to make the wrong choice concerning this case. Mm. What would you do? I would dismiss the charges. Dismiss the charges? With all this evidence? We have to go by facts. And you're a good judge, John. And I don't want you to make any hasty decisions. And based on, on what we've heard in the courtroom, we don't have enough evidence against Mr. Rivera. He's a leading citizen. He has given people many jobs. And um, he's doing pretty good for himself here in this community. I cannot let that man go. I cannot. He's got to be convicted by the letter of the law. There's more than enough evidence to convict him. I got to stand by these evidence. I got to do it. Well, John, if you don't want to dismiss the charges, why don't we just um, give him probation? Probation? Yes, probation. Are you kidding? Look at this. Look at this. John. Probation? John, look. Give him probation. Chances are, if you convict him, they'll appeal it, and chances are that he'll go free. This way, if you give him probation, we can keep an eye on him. And besides, this man has a good reputation, and we don't want people coming down on us. John, you're the right judge for this case, and I'm sure you'll make the right decision. And the right decision is probation. How do you think I got where I am by making the right decision? John, seeing you and your wife at dinner tomorrow. Come on, Cece, girl. You know we've been waiting for you. You know how long we've been waiting for you. Get off the table. Shoot. Come on, Cece. JJ, cool out, girl, okay? Girl, you're too anxious. Girl, would you come home? You know how long we've been waiting for you? Look, I just give me my piece. Right. Just give me my piece. There you are. Yeah, here yeah, it is, right here. Shana, take the gun, girl! Dang! You still tripping? Girl, come on, what's the truth? Come on, hurry up, y'all. Just hurry up. Now, when you say Tasha was gonna meet us? Tasha said, said she gonna meet us on 18th Street, all right? Now, are you sure that's what she said? That's she what she said, girl. Street. Quit asking me all these doggone questions. Load up your gun. She the one that organized this thing. I hope she be there. She gon' be there. Just load up your crap, Shana, girl. why you dropping all these darn bullets? What's wrong with you? Look, I told you this ain't gonna work, okay? Come on, come on. Shana, you know what? You need to quit complaining, girl, okay? You been complaining from the beginning. We gonna go out there, we gonna take Mookie out, whoever with him, and we gonna go about our business, all right? Come on, y'all, come on. Now, Cece, you sure Tasha said she's gonna meet us at 18th Street? Look, JJ, she gonna be there, all right? That's all I wanna know, you sure 18th Street? Look, JJ, you too friendly, girl. I said Tasha gonna meet us up there. We gonna pick up, we gonna take Mookie and the rest of them niggas that will front us off in school. That's all I wanna know, are you sure, girl? Look, I told you I ain't gonna do this, okay? I'm not gonna do it. She's gonna tripping again. Pick up your gun, Shonda. I ain't picking up nothing. Pick up your gun, Shonda! Pick up your gun, Shonda. Shonda, pick it up. Pick up the gun. You don't pick it up, you out of here. Pick up the gun, Shonda. Pick it up. Shonda, pick up the gun! If you don't pick up the gun, I'm gonna blow your head off. <laughs> 